Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and today is all about Christmas. I even busted out my Buddy the Elf t-shirt. If anybody needs one, I got this last year or year before at Kohl's in the men's section. And it just says, um, I don't know what it says. Smiling, oh, smiling's my favorite. It's hard to read upside down, guys. Sorry if I sound stuffy. I've got a bit of a cold going on. And in my trusty Starbucks Merry Coffee cup, I have some apple cider tea and a tea and a cinnamon stick. Mmm, and a little cream. It's delicious. Okay, something new this week. I mean, not new. I go to Target all the time. I don't normally do a haul, uh, but I like to do one... I like to haul what I get in the Christmas section at the Dollar Spot, Bullseyes, Playground, whatever you want to call it. I don't need a bunch of big stuff, but I love the little things. Um, I, I just have plenty of Christmas decor that I don't need all that. But I've got some things coming up, and I do love the little um, stationary stuff that they put out for the holidays. So I thought I would show you what I bought. And if you're interested, you too can go get these things. We're going to start with the state thing so this is for the state of ohio they started doing this a couple years ago and i feel like i have an ohio rubber stamp i need to dig out um but anyway this is it's ceramic i think it says food safe hand wash it's a cheese board and it has embossed the state of ohio and with charcuterie 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 tray yeah antipasta trays being huge and I love putting out cheese and crackers and when I have people over and it's plain white. And um, you can hang it. It doesn't come. It might, but mine didn't have one. So, yeah, I love it. It's, you know, it's definitely a right size to put a piece of cheese on. Um, I definitely need to wash it because gosh knows how many hands have been in that. But I picked up the cheese board because, again, I like cheese. Okay, in the same vein, I love socks, guys, and I can't tell you how excited I am for the Ohio socks. I look at the color. They're like an off-white with gray. I love the um, collegiate-looking or um, school lettering that's on them. They're perfect. They're everything to me. They're, they're definitely like left and right foot. Um, I have the... I think they came out with the same pair they had last year with Ohio all over them. And I have two pair of those. I bought a pair and I was gifted a pair. Um, and these are really good quality socks, by the way, for a dollar. I happen to be wearing a dollar spot pair of socks right now. Uh, but yes, so I grabbed some socks and I actually grabbed a second pair for a giveaway that I think I'm going to do in December. So I thought, you need Ohio socks too. So I grabbed a second pair. If I decide not to do an Ohio giveaway, then I'll just gift these to somebody. But um, they're a dollar. I don't, I don't understand why the ladies' socks are a dollar and the men's socks are three dollars. But that's how it works at the dollar spot or the Bullseye's Playground. But anywho, they also had like bags and they had some bracelets and necklaces. But here's the thing. I bought a necklace last year. It's not very good quality. And I need another bag. Like I need a hole in my head. So I avoided all that, but they did have a dish towel and now I'm kicking myself for not picking up the set of dish towels, but again, not necessary in my life. Okay. Um, with more socks, these are not for me. Um, but I do have one pair here. I love Christmas socks and I will start wearing Christmas socks on Thanksgiving and I will wear a new pair, a different new pair every day leading up to Christmas. If you follow me on Instagram, which is my crazy life underscore Lori, you will see every day I post my Christmas socks. Um, these socks, however, I'm putting together some goodie bags for some girls. Uh, my little cousin and her friends were going to decorate gingerbread houses on December 7th. And I was like, this is a perfect opportunity to get the kids some Christmas stuff that they can wear to, you know, wear the socks for the whole month of December and some other little fun things that they can use instead of giving them the things on Christmas and they really can't utilize them. So I thought perfect opportunity. So I picked up different socks. Now these say fa la 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 la, obviously, and they have sprinkles. And then what I will do, I got some ribbon. It'll be in my Dollar Tree haul, but I'm going to 
fold them like this and tie a bow or just tie them up so they stay together in their bag. Oh, and I will be having my frugal um, gift giving video coming up this week. And this, these goodie bags are going to be part of that video. So la 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 la. I love these. I had to restrain myself, guys. Look at the green and the hearts. Honestly, I would wear these all year because, well, I love green and stripes are my jam. So those are sweet little elf socks. And I love the tags. Like this has a little stocking. Um, I think these all have stockings except for this pair, which has the Christmas tree. But I mean, just the detail, you know, like that's everything. These have some holly berries on them which are super cute and i love the toe again the detail the toes and heels are a different color um i would say these are definitely better than the dollar tree socks for a dollar um not i mean i wear dollar tree talk socks too but these are definitely a step up um look at those i just think these are going to be perfect for 12 13 year olds and the neon green it's just something that you know they can wear their crazy socks to school I think they still don't match them. I'm not sure if that's still a thing, but we'll see. So I got that pair. I'm not even sure how many kids are coming, but I got, I'm prepared for five. And then I got these and I need you to look at this glitter. This is green. It's Christmas tree green and glittery with the candy cane stripes. And uh, as just mentioned, I love a good stripe. So I grabbed those. I believe this is all of the designs, but I could be wrong. This is all the designs I found at my store so I grabbed those and then I got myself a pair um some of my Christmas socks are older and need to be retired into the bin so I've been picking up a couple pair I'm not sure I need to pull them out of my closet and see um how many pair I have and how many I should retire and replace but uh these are definitely going in the rotation because stripes candy canes guys come on come on Candy cane stripes. They're perfect. They are everything. Okay, maybe I'm a little overexcited about socks, but I just love socks. All right, so I got myself two pair. Uh-oh, I've got a kitty cat coming up. All right, Wellington, come here. Come here. All right, come here, buddy. I don't want to just grab him because I have stuff, but there's Wellington. He's my older cat. He is... I think 13 now close. Oh, and Alex is coming too. So have no fear. If I'm talking to Wellington. I'm talking to Alex. Alex is my rescue that I got last year. And he is four now. He was three when I rescued him. And that was the most terrifying experience of my personal life. I mean, not really that's dramatic, but I was really afraid to bring in a second cat with an existing older cat and they're both males, but it worked out perfect. Okay, sorry, I digress. Look at these, guys, they're mini jingle bells. And listen, um, these were in the kids section and they had little tiny wreaths too. They're, these I believe are to stuff inside of Christmas ornaments. They had a bunch of little things that you could put in the ornaments to decorate yourself. However, I am using these to make stitch markers for knitting um, because, well, who doesn't want Christmas bells while you're knitting? Um, if you're not a knitter or a crocheter, a stitch marker goes on your knitting needles and it slides while you're knitting, but it marks a specific spot. And I have the stuff to do it, so I'm just going to attach these to some little jump rings and make myself some stitch markers for my next project. I just thought they were adorable, and these were $1.00. Um, you can also string these up if you have like a mini Christmas tree. I don't know if there's any interest. I have a mini Christmas tree that I'm decorating to take to work for my desk. I don't think I'm going to light it up just because it doesn't make sense to have lights on a tree that in a room that's lit. Um, I might put on there some battery operated lights just if I felt like lighting it up. But if anybody has any interest, I can video myself decorating that tree. It's going to be black, white, red, and gold. Anywho, we got bells. I really wish there was a little more, but they're functioning bells. So there's that. So we grabbed that. Um, also in the little dollar spots. Oh, I'm so smitten. This came in this plastic bag. And if this doesn't say hearth and hand, I don't know what does. There's a little leather tie. And it says Santa's, Santa's key. And then there's the key. Yes, it's an ornament, but what I'm going to use it for 
is I have a gift that I'm giving. Actually, I have two. I probably should get a second one. But I have a gift that I'm giving to a couple families. It's the gift of a movie night. Um, they, they all have multiple children. So I'm going to get a Christmas movie, popcorn, uh, hot chocolate, all kinds of stuff. And put it in a basket. And I'm going to tie one of these on the outside. And then they can use it or if they don't have a fireplace they can do the whole this is how santa gets in the house kind of thing you know you give him a key and he can get in your front door that's the premise behind this or was when i was growing up but isn't that adorable and i like that it's green and not traditional red you know black i just like this green so i grab that that's for gifting or embellishing i should say I picked up these, which is really farmhouse to me. Let me open it. I'm sorry for the crinkling. I love it. I'm so excited. These are just, it's just those beads, the wooden beads, very farmhouse. Um, this is either going to go on my tree or it may end up on a garland or something, but I just needed that in my life. I love the beads. I love the simplicity of it and that these are real wood. And they're just plain old wooden beads. So I love that one. I did not go crazy because I have plenty of ornaments for my tree. And I also have plenty for um, decorating with. Now this one is going to be a gift. This is the ceramic ornament. These things are heavy. And if you can see up here, they've actually baked in the ring for the um, hook. But this is a penguin and the polar bear and I love them and my niece loves polar bears so this is going to go for her on one of her packages and then she can have that as an ornament and I have to see and I could probably practice on mine if I could take the um sharpie marker the oil based one and see if it will stay if I write the date on the backs of these and make it like her 2019 ornament but she loves polar bears and I love that and I love her. So that's easy. And it's, I love the gold. I'm really into gold this year. I used to be all about silver, but now I'm all about gold. Who knew? So yeah, and these are great, um, nice, heavy ceramic ornaments and they would make a good gift topper as well. Um, and the only other piece of decor I bought, and I feel like I bought one last year, but bigger. And I wanted the smaller one for my coffee table, but these hold tapers. And what I, I'm going to do is put this in a tray with black and red candles. And then all my buffalo check ornaments can go around the bottom. Just got to get good candles. If you're going to do something like this, you do not want cheap candles because they will wax. The wax will run and ruin everything. Unless you're doing just this. And then you could put, I guess you could put some wax paper or parchment down to protect your surface. Uh, but if you get good dripless candles, they're a little more expensive, but it will save you a whole lot of headache. All of that, say, I bought this, it was $3. <laughs> um, and I know I bought a gold one last year, but it was much larger. And I believe traditionally this is an advent, count, uh, an advent candle. And you put, for the four weeks leading up to Christmas, a different color candle. Um, I'm not sure how the whole advent candle thing works, but I know that that's what these are traditionally for or can be used for, I should say. That's not what I'm using it for. But I really am into red and black this Christmas, buffalo check kind of thing. And so I want to incorporate just a little more pieces. Like I said, I do not need more decor. I have plenty in my life. All right. Um, the other thing I bought at Target was cat food. I mean, I have other stuff, but I bought cat food. My boys love this. Perfect portions. And Alex will pretty much eat anything. Wellington has asthma. And I have found that it's food allergies. So that is a brand of food he can eat that does not cause him any distress. Took me a year last year of trial and error with his wet food, dry food, and treats. And to be honest, the wet food is like a treat for them. They just get a half, the two of them share half of this. So they each get about a tablespoon. Um, but it took me about a year to find the brands he could eat that don't make him cough, throw up, wheeze, and end up at the vet. So life is good. That's a brand he can have. Okay, the last bit of stuff. I bought an S. Okay, so this is the first initial, my last name. 
I might be kind of obsessed with this letter and I buy them all the time and hang them on my walls and I have plenty for the tree, but I needed a new one for my mantle. And whenever I see one, I try to just grab it. I like to layer them, especially in the springtime on my mantle. And this is a really nice size S. So I grabbed it. It was $1. They had all the letters. Um, okay, back for the girls bags since they're getting them so early i grabbed some christmas pencils they're all i think in fifth or sixth grade um these have a christmas walrus please these have snowflakes and i think that's a polar bear and a deer if i'm not mistaken it could be a cat i don't really know but i think it's a polar bear i wish it would tell me the red pencils i think are deer and polar bears they're just super cute and i got a pack of 10 pencils for a dollar and what i will do is just they'll just get one each because i feel like one is sufficient but maybe more i could just bring the rest if they want more um technically they could have two each but i kind of wanted one too there's that anyway i want to take one to work and write with because i love christmas and i hope these are good pencils the ones with the dollar tree not good pencils um i picked up two of this and it says do not open it until December 25th. Um, one of the gifts I ordered off of Etsy, and I'm all about ordering on Etsy this year, but I will warn you, Etsy is great. It's supporting the small business. You can get a lot of unique things, but you definitely want to order in a timely manner. Like I'm ordering things now so that there's no hiccups when it comes time. You know, these folks, everything is usually made individually and it's sourced that way so you don't want to stress them out either so um i, I highly encourage you to use etsy um, i ordered sarah a gift that i think will fit perfectly in here to wrap it um it's a doubled bra string bag and i don't really have to wrap it i'll just put a tag on it she obviously won't open it until december 25th because i'll be there when she opens it but I thought it was super cute. And they had like just solid red. They had some with the pastel Christmas trees. Um, but these are great for like little things, jewelry, little gifts um, to give. And it kind of keeps them bulky enough that you're not losing them under the tree. Or they'll fit in the top of a stocking. You can hang them on the tree until Christmas. Because I'm all weirded out about losing little things so I grabbed two I know for sure I'm using one if I don't use the other one this year it'll go on my gift wrapping station and by station I mean I have a big tub that I keep all my Christmas stuff in now the rest is all stationary items I love stationary um I grabbed some sticky flags and I think these are so perfect so we've got a top of the list stickies so Things you can't forget if you got things on your mind things you got to pick up on the way home and then this one is buy it and wrap it so do I have a gift I need to remember to pick up do I need to wrap something obviously you don't have to put these on here but um, I will open this because this is for me and I'm pretty obsessed and it's one tablet so I can just stick it with my planner and then these are just my December sticky notes for things that I need to remember to do on my way home or whatever. Um, I'm forever leaving myself notes so I don't forget. This, I think, is just genius. These are little recipe cards. And they're pretty basic. It just says recipe, what is it, how long does it take, notes, total time, ingredients, directions. Uh, when I gift bread or cookies, I think it's just a wonderful thing to handwrite the recipe and give it to somebody attached to their gift. Especially if you, like, you have a recipe that is special to your family and you want to pass it along to your children, to your grandkids, to relatives. Um, in my family, my aunt was is all about banana pudding. Well, we're not going to see her this year, so maybe I'll make some banana pudding write the recipe out and pass it on to my family when they come same thing if you do a cookie swap or you're bringing cookies as a gift i just think these are great and you get 20 of them for a dollar so even if i don't use them all this year definitely i'll have plenty my throat's killing me okay 
um, at my work. We go to do the white elephant at a, one of our Christmas parties and we're always ripping up shreds of paper and I'm like, guys, we can do this. So I grabbed these and it comes with up to 45 people in this one set which is great. It includes five sheets and an instruction sheet if you don't know how to do the white elephant or their version of the white elephant. I just got it because I think these are adorable and they are um, serrated so you can just rip them apart and pass them out or put them in the bowl instead of post-its, which is what we normally end up doing. So I thought that was super fun and this was a dollar for the office party. Um, I grabbed a sticker book. And I'll show you on the back. They're planner stickers, but they also can just be for whatever. You know, December 25th. It looks like there's some tags, some flags, and then there's definitely planner stickers in here. And get it done. Mail it tomorrow. Finish later. Don't forget. Again, the holidays are busy, guys. And so, you know, if you need to order it, wrap it, sign it, bake it, mail it, it's just helpful, and I think these are super fun. And what I'm going to do is take one of those uh, Rubbermaid tote things for the cookies from the Dollar Tree, and I'm putting all of my Christmas stuff together. So all of my stickers and all of my Post-its and all of my flags and everything for the holidays, and I'm going to make my planner tub. So every Christmas from now on, I can pull it out in November and be ready and know what I have and not have to hunt everything down. Um, as far as stickers go, I can buy a lot this year. I don't need a lot of stickers, but these just needed to come home with me. The little gingerbread houses. I think these will be perfect. I make my own gift tags because, well, I can, and I have our uh, paper stamp that cuts out the tag for me, and I like to put little stickers on the front side, and I just thought these were adorable, and you get one sheet, and it has a lot. I don't know I didn't count so I grabbed these but look at them I just think they're totally adorable little gingerbread houses and then I picked up two packages of these so I think I'm getting 60 56 stickers and they say have yourself a merry little Christmas there's two sheets and each sheet has 14 and I'm going to use these on the back side to seal my Christmas cards before I mail them so I grabbed two sheets and I think that should be sufficient. And we are having a Christmas card exchange. I will get that video up here in about a week or two. I didn't want to put it up too early. Um, but just be known that it is happening. And my P.O. box is always in the description box below. And so if I forget or if you miss that video, it's in there. And we are doing a Christmas card exchange. So what happens is mail me a card. I will mail one back within a day or two. And I don't stop until even after Christmas, if it shows up, I will mail one back. So that's exciting. And then the last thing I picked up, <coughs> excuse me, hence the tea, my throat, I'm getting this weird cough thing happening now, which I feel like there's a lot of pages here, but I will just use it this year and probably next year and skip some to my niece. It is a weekly planner they had three or four different ones but I, this is the one i like the best it has top five things to do that week it has notes over here for maybe like meal planning or what yours what is your agenda and then it has uh monday through friday and then the weekend so yes i have a, a calendar but this is more like wrap this present tonight make sure you stop here and the post-it notes or this week, you need to bake today for something that's coming up here. If I have, like, I'm going to a cookie swap. And uh, my cookie swap is at the end of the month. Then I could put, hey, this week you're baking this cookie, put the dough in the freezer. More holiday, and I will start this, like, now because of Thanksgiving. Even though it's more of a Christmas theme, I'm okay with that. And I'm sure you are, too. Um, but yeah, so this is definitely more around the holidays because I get super busy and I schedule myself and I agree to do lots of stuff and I just think that this is going to be perfect. And what I will do is rip off a couple pages, take it to work, and then I think, I know it definitely won't fit in my day planner. I use the small happy planner, but I'm pretty sure it will. 
if I punch it, it'll fit in my note size happy planner, which is more, this is just more like my YouTube stuff and goals and things like that. Reviews, crafting ideas. So this is more along the lines of my creative life. And my day planner is my busy work life and it's just schedules of things, but this is definitely detailed. So I can hole punch a few of these and it'll fit perfectly in here, which is very helpful for me to keep my life all be organized. All right, I think that is everything. I hope you enjoyed it. I know that was super long and I will talk to you later. Bye.